All right, we're here with the Howard guys, went one, two, three in the 60 hurdles here at the Windy City Invite. Was that the expectation coming in? Were you guys yes. expecting to dominate? Oh, yeah, yes, right. okay. That every okay, okay. Um, I guess, you know, legendary coach status. So uh, is that, t tell us a little bit about why you picked Howard. Like, why did you decide to go there? Was, was he the main reason? I mean, it's pretty obvious, you know. I feel like at an HBCU, you get a lot more, you know, person to person experience, mother than just being a, a number, say the sort. Exactly. You know, we got a great coach named Dio. So that's another plus, a big plus, he's an Olympian. So, you know, everything turned out, you know, pretty well for us. You know, I think we all chose to go to the Howard under the precedence, you know, trying to be the greatest, honestly. The greatest program out. So, for you know, sure. And, when, and we got one of the greatest education programs in the nation. Feels like a family, culture, black excellence, brilliance, you know. Can't oh, yeah. be nowhere else, best place to be. So, so what was that? I just coach Oliver, balance, both the athleticism and academics. Oh, he definitely makes sure you're in your academics. Yeah, yeah. If he's slacking, you will go sit in your class. He comes to your class, <laughs> watches class. you present, watches you do all types right, of stuff, walk around campus, all that. He's on us. He's, he's, he's on like point. a father figure. He's more, more scared about having a bad performance in a race or a bad performance in the classroom. A race. <laughs> it's still track first. Okay, okay. School, I ain't gonna lie, school is pretty easy. Yeah, not not because it's easy, but mentally blocked in. So once you get in the motions of it, it becomes routine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're athletes. You're mentally prepared for anything, exactly. right? Right. So, uh, what? Uh, anything change in the next couple of weeks, leading into uh, you know conferences and the rest of the indoor season, or we just keep it on, keep it on? Yeah, the work was done. The work was done in the fall. Yeah, the work is done. So. Yeah. Anything, we just gonna go harder. Yeah. If anything, so. we just gotta keep executing. We're getting faster every week. We've been working day in day out. 40 degrees, 30 degrees. Yeah, we, we don't even have it here. We train outdoors. So. Yeah, we don't have yeah. indoor. And it's snow. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> We've really been grinding, really been in the trenches. For sure. For real. All right, any, any goals you're willing to uh, share out to the public or are you keeping them to yourself? I'm trying to break deal record at 7-5, that's it. Okay. We've got a sweep conference next week just like we did here. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's all That's all you can ask for. Yeah. After going one, two, three, how do you celebrate? Go back to practice, recover, <laughs> recover, yeah. drink yeah. some water. Yeah. Drink some water. Get a massage, maybe. Lock it up, go back to practice. Yeah. Nice exercise, man. It's not, it's not done yet. We don't got time to celebrate just yet. Fair enough. Awesome. Congrats, fellas. Appreciate Great work out so there. Much.